Look what just came in the mail. It's the very first Crate Club of 2023. And as usual, Crate Club was the award for the largest possible <laughs> subscription box. Uh, but yeah, if you're into tactical prepping or survival gear, that sort of thing, this is a really cool sub. So let's pop open the seal and see what we got this month. What's up guys, Eric here with At Home in the Future and I'm back with another Crate Club unboxing. So if you're unfamiliar with Crate Club, a uh, really cool subscription, comes in a few different levels and a few different flavors. You can get a quarterly box, uh, which I used to get the general box, but now I've switched to the monthly box and this is the big boy, this is the major. There's also a lower level uh, captain and everything. Long story short, if you wanna to subscribe to this one, follow the link on the screen or down the description. Uh, pretty cool gear every month, kind of a different mix of stuff, and I never know what's inside of these things. So this is the very first box, uh, January 2023. So let's see if we can open this giant box here as usual and see what we got. All right, let's see if that got all the tape. What we probably need to do is open this up and move stuff around so we can see everything. All right, here's our guide. You know what, I'm gonna unload all this stuff onto the surface here so we can take a better look at it. So be right back. And we're back. So it looks like we got five things in this month's box. Like I said, this is the major one here. So this is the more full box of the monthly box uh, subscriptions here. But let's run down the list and see what we've got inside this thing. Uh, looking pretty cool just from looking at the card here. So let's start with from Toadfish. We have a non-tipping can cooler. Uh, you may have seen these before. These I think are actually surprisingly cool if you kind of have the environment or lifestyle that would support one of these. Uh, but you know, can coolers are kind of a dime a dozen. You see them at Walmart, see them everywhere else. You can have some fancy ones, uh, like the Yeti kind or like this kind. Uh, but this has an extra trick up its sleeve. It has this little rubber gasket on the bottom that almost serves as kind of a makeshift suction cup. Uh, so pretty much any other time works just like a normal can cooler, you know, throw in your uh, beer, whatever you want. In my case, it's a Coke Zero. Pop the thing on here um, and just, you know, keep your drinks nice and cool for a long time. But the little magic trick it has is if you put it on a flat surface, and I don't really have one around, I'm gonna use this box for an example here. Um, once you set it down, it has this little suction cup feature where it, like, when you hit it and smack it, it won't fall over. Um, especially awesome for boats. We live near a lake town, so um, lots of people have boats and go out and put drinks all over the place. But this is a really cool uh, random feature, but when you just lift it up like normal, it comes right off. There's not even like a suction cup feel or anything. It just lifts straight up as long as you lift it up. Uh, but if it gets knocked around to the side, um, that thing is on there tight. So super cool little product. Um, this is actually a pretty cool colorway too. I'm not sure, sometimes in boxes like this, they have like four or five different colors and you don't know which one you're gonna get. Um, I really dig this titanium look here, pretty rad. And of course it has all the features you normally expect with something like this, double wall insulation. It's kind of like a Yeti on steroids that has kind of an extra set of features. So really rad, uh, I like seeing that. So that is the Toadfish non-tipping can cooler. That's first up. Uh, second up, we'll just go down the list here. We've got some Gear Aid Camoform reusable fabric wrap. Uh, so pretty much exactly what it says in the package, you get this material here that's basically like a, I don't, I don't know, like an ace bandage type thing. But you can use it to wrap up firearms if you're into hunting or just any of your other gear outside that you want to blend in and stuff. Uh, here, we'll pop the seal and take a look. But it does exactly what you think it does. It's just kind of this uh, reusable tape surface that you pop out, it sticks to itself, and just wrap stuff around. It's not, not as grippy, but it's not tacky or anything. So when you wrap it around, it just adheres right back where it was. Uh, so pretty useful if uh, that's sort of your thing. It kind of flows in with um, the tactical hunting kind of vibes that can be in these boxes sometimes. So really cool value add item there. So that's from Gear Aid, some Camoform reusable fabric wrap. All right, next up continues the trend of some of these Subtle Patriot products I've seen in a few of these boxes lately. So this is the Covert Hybrid Duffel Bag. It says it's a vented cave for all your dirty laundries. There's no more stinking up the new stuff with the old. So let's look, it looks like this is just a solid duffel bag. It has some molly on the sides and everything. Uh, let's see what we got. It is vented, so there's your little pockets. I guess that's why they mentioned the laundry. This is just about the right size though. Not too big, not too small. We've got kind of a padded, kind of a hidden compartment here at the top, if you can see that. Uh, it's got the little Subtle Patriot design in there where it's a little bit of old glory floating around inside there. Liberty and justice for all, there you go. And inside we've got a nice clean duffel bag. We got a strap you can use for other stuff. Let's see, we got some pockets on the side. Even in the pattern on the side, I'm gonna kind of try to scoot away from the camera so you can see it a little bit. You got kind of this faux carbon fiber pattern, but even still you have kind of like the flag pattern on the outside. We've got 
pockets here on the end. Also has their uh, Cool Patriotic branding on the inside of that. Uh, let's see. It's got these cool grippy feet on the bottom, which I like that. But I think what's the coolest part is having this molly on the side of this thing um, and more storage and stuff inside. It looks like we got some nice mesh pockets in there too. So uh, pretty cool. So I'm Settle Patriot. Oh yeah, if I remember right, I wonder if this is a morale patch. Yeah. So you can take off the patch there, pop on your own morale patch. Uh, so yeah, cool duffel. Let's see if the other side's any different. We've got another pocket and there's your, uh, your space for your vented uh, carry. So nice solid duffel bag. It is huge, so I'm gonna move it off camera. Uh, we'll come back around to it there at the end, but cool product there. I think it's big and solid, so I'm guessing that one costs some money there. Next up, we have a knife from Holtzman Survival. Uh, this is a brand I just became aware of recently. We have another one of their knives called uh, the Bloodline. Looks like this one is the Silverback. But I was really impressed with that other knife. Really nice ear goes and everything. Let's see. So we've got our thank you card. Little free gift thing there if you want to use that. And oh, $20 in our store if you want to scan that code. Check that out. And so we have an awesome little fixed blade survival knife. Always nice if you're getting a subscription like this to get a cool knife. Well, this thing is greasy, <laughs> even in the bag. All right, let's pop that out here. So you can see how much uh, just grease and oil this thing has on it right out of the box. It's got this little sleeve on it here, so I'll keep myself from chopping my fingers off while I'm checking it down on camera. Uh, but really nice blade, very cool shape. Uh, no jimping or anything in the back, but man, it just flows right into your hand. Can you see how shiny my hands are right now? <laughs> I'm gonna slip when I try to pick up the next product. That's funny. Uh, really dig the handles. I'm assuming that's G10. Let's check it out. Yep, G10 handle. We got a four inch D2 steel blade, 8.6 inches overall. It's got what they call a K sheath here. So let's check this thing out. It's got the nice tech lock in the back so you can get it pretty much however you want. Let's check this out. I like the little button enclosure. I don't know if it'll go, go in here with the little protective coating on. But yeah, you can pop your knife in there and just cinch it up and carry it however you like. I'm not sure if that's Kydex or if it's just uh, plastic, but it does have really nice lock-in. Yep, comes right out. Very cool, love the branding on these. I love DT Steel, um, especially for a knife like this. I like it because it's pretty easy to sharpen, holds the edge for a long time. And it's just overall um, a pretty good, pretty solid little steel. Even got a little lanyard loop here, but you can see full tang all the way down. Um, man. I really like how that feels. Great knife. So this, like I said, this is a brand that I've just kind of been introduced to recently, but I've really enjoyed everything I have of theirs. That Bloodline knife is really cool. Check that out too. Uh, the Silverback, um, really nice knife. Really dig this thing. So fun knife to see in this month's box, right in the middle of that Crate Club vibe there. So last up um, from Slint, which is another uh, kind of product I'm familiar with is a Faraday dry bag. So Slint, or I guess S-L-N-T, I, I just pronounce it Slint, which I guess is how you pronounce it. They make these really cool kind of minim minimalistic uh, Faraday bags. Lots of different products uh, with a Faraday style protection system. So what that's useful for is, God forbid, we have like an EMP attack, or maybe you're just wanting something simple like keeping um, all your radios or phones or anything from letting any signals out of this. Uh, that's what you want with the Faraday bag. It keeps radio waves from going in or out of a thing. So they make this system here, it's a simple um, dry bag. I don't think it says in the card like how deep this thing is. It's not a huge dry bag. In my mind, this is the kind of thing you want if you want to keep some gear nice, if you're going out in a kayak or on the lake or something. Uh, it's just about the right size to throw in a few phones or your radio or, I don't know, music players, headphones, that sort of thing. Keep them nice and dry. But the signal part to me is almost a bonus feature. Um, but this thing isn't giant for a dry bag, but it's got that bonus of being super well built and having the Faraday cage stuff inside. So it's got a simple buckle closure. Uh, you just fold it over a few times and cinch up the buckle there um, and you've got your stuff nice and dry. But yeah, go check out, what, again, what I'm gonna call Slint. They make really cool products. It tells you all the different stuff it actually blocks. Keeps your stuff totally safe, keeps you off grid. So um, if you're a camper who wants to stay off grid, maybe you resist that urge to pick up the phone all the time, this is awesome. If you're a prepper who wants to keep um, your phone from being tracked or protect your devices from an EMP attack or something like that, these are cool too. So uh, neat product there. I think that is it. Yeah. So here we are. This is the January 2023 Major Crate from Crate Club. We got this awesome can cooler. 
this Faraday bag. We got some camo wrap, really, really cool knife uh, from Holtzman, the silverback, and this giant duffel bag uh, from Subtle Patriots. So really cool gear. Like I said, if you want to grab the subscription for yourself, follow the link on the screen or down in the description. Really cool one to get if you're into this sort of gear. Lots of top quality stuff every month. So that is it for this month's unboxing. As always, hit that like button if you dug the video because it helps the channel out a ton. And subscribe if you want to see more Crate Club, more unboxings, and more stuff like this. We'll see you next time.